Carl and Lou here from Games, Brains and Headbang Live, GBHBL.com for short and it's track by track time as we're going back in time for something death metal based. Mm. It is Bolt Thrower's Realm of Chaos, Slave to Darkness, commonly known as Realm of Chaos. Mm. Uh, war game, um, war game. Warhammer. Warhammer. Yeah. Yes. Of course, it's the second album by the British death metal band Bolt Thrower. Uh, the cover artwork is produced by Games Workshop. The whole album is closely tied to Games Workshop's Warhammer 4000. The game background and Realm of Chaos Slave to Darkness was the title of a gaming book by Games Workshop released in 1988. So, nerds! <laughs> yeah, like two nerd realms collide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> the album was, album was released on Earache Records, Mosh 13 in 1989. In 2005, a reissue was released by Earache featuring new artwork. The band advises not to buy the reissue. As they have not been involved and will not get any royalties. So don't do that. Oh. Which is just bang out of order. Wow. Don't be fucking taking people's work. Very bad. On the 14th of September 2016, the band announced that they were breaking up following the death of drummer Martin Kearns exactly a year later. And that's been the case since Bolt Thrower. Yeah. Uh, haven't been I active. I'm surprised I don't know how, like, how little I know of Bolt Thrower. True. Same here. This isn't, this isn't a band I followed or ever really yeah. listened to. And this is certainly the first full album I've ever listened to. But we know, but we've seen the spin-off band, we've seen Memorium, mm -hmm. who's got the lead, the front man, the vocalist. Uh, yeah. And I'm like, oh. It, <laughs> it, just, it just happens sometimes. Like that when, metal history that we don't like. Well, in the heyday, I, this wasn't the music I was listening yeah, to. Yeah, metal, yeah. It really, really wasn't, no. so as simple as that. Mm. But um, I get the impression, based off camera stuff, you did not enjoy this album. No, I did. I just feel like I'd put a few death metal tracks on as like just a sprinkling in the okay. playlist. And I do prefer listening to death, watching like death metal live. Right. I do enjoy that like, the real like getting it like yeah, the experience of seeing it live. On record, it can be a bit samey. Okay. And I would just put a couple of tracks on a playlist. I would not listen to a whole like death metal album just in general. Okay. We'll get but, through. We'll go through it yeah. and sort of see what you're feeling then as we hit certain tracks. I guess by the end you were sick of it, but fair enough. An intro. It's a powerful war-ready intro that makes the expected expulsion of death sound all the more epic. I've got very dungeon eighties metal, which is what it is, and obviously now the link now I'll have the link to the uh, the four K stuff. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. That's why I used the term war ready. Yeah. Absolutely. And we kick into eternal war. Said expulsion of death is exactly what we get here. A short blast of fire and brimstone heaviness that feels suitably evil, old school and brutalizing. It's chaotic, and that kind of chaos burns out quickly, hence the short runtime. Mm. Nice fast start, nice groove, very abrupt ending. Yeah. So I literally, vroom, done. Yeah. But I quite like that. I liked it as I well. I kind of set me up well. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get into this. If you're going to go that fast and heavy, you got to keep yeah. that shit before you burn out, basically. Through the Eye of Terror, a measured approach here. The methodical but ripping riff work, the savagery that emerges from the vocals, the tempo shift to something more thrashy, and the resulting brash wave of noise that slams into you, knocking the breath out of your lungs. This is quality stuff for me. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, one. this is a banger. I've got nice, rich sounds, mm -hmm. solidly heavy. I thought that word solid made sense. It was yeah. like impactful. Yeah, I used the term yeah. solid in my reviews. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a descriptive yeah. word. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I like this track a lot. Mm. Uh, Dark Millennium. I'm feeling the instruments in this one. The drums are crashing around like thunder. The riffs are the lightning strikes and the bass is the rumble of impending doom. Fast and energetic death metal with a really sickening level of heaviness running through it. I really like this one. Yep, same. It's fast and punchy and short as well. Like, it doesn't drag. It's like it's to the point. Like, mm -hmm. there we go, it's done. Which I really liked. Oh, so far so yeah. good. All good songs. Mm. All that remains. The word that comes to mind is crunchy. The doomy tone to the guitars before the speed is increased is awesome. And then we get some memorable bolt thrower ruthlessness to effectively, and this is not a slam, ticking all the boxes. Mm. I'd put nice and sludgy start. It sounds very modern, even though it came out in 1989. Mm -hmm. Okay. It didn't sound like it was dated. Uh, yeah, I think it could play to the whole album, really. Yeah. That doesn't sound like it belongs I know, in just, just um, like, yeah. 1989. Uh, just saying about that one just made it, just stood out for me. Okay. Yeah. Lost, Sto Lost Souls Domain. The riffs are chunky beggars here as Bolt Thrower deliver a track that is all about the head banging and the circle pits opening up. The chaotic drumming uh, really stands out here too. It's a little bit nonsensical at times, but that just makes the moments of order all the more impressive. A nice groovy head banger. Mm -hmm. I thought this album was non stop. That's what it feels like. Yeah, like, yeah, relentless. that's true. Uh, the drumming is amazing. Yeah. I always like that death metal track, the blast. 
Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely. What, that's what I like to do in a band, so... It is, like it's that. relentless, yes. Yeah. Uh, Plague Brera. However, this is where I ran into a problem. And it's one that would actually remain for much of the rest of the album. Mm. And that it's the similar sound of tracks. Not enough here to ruin the experience as I still thoroughly enjoyed the destructive speed and devastating death metal power of this track, but I'd be lying if I didn't admit to some bleeding and blending here. Pacing, I didn't mm. mind the groove of it, but like I said, it was. I'd keep going back to kind of because I didn't want to, kind of, want to kind of give like a fair listen to it, and I yep. was like, oh, was it that one? Was it that one? So yeah. Like because sometimes I listen to this on the on the move. Yeah, yeah. This this one I actually sat with it open on a window, so I could kind of keep going back to make sure I would kind of made notes on it, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's, yep. that's not a good sign for me. And it's not that it's a bad track no, at, all. at all. It's just that oh, okay, this is some very familiar facts. Familiar. Yeah. Yeah. World Eater. I like this one too. The riffs are a bit different and the tempo really rumbles with threat. Even the speed shift is a little groovier and far more ordered. It's not a huge shift in style, but it's certainly a bigger focus on this track to the riffs being prominent. Mm. Bring one of the longer tracks in the, being sorry, being one of the longer tracks in this album, it needed to do something a bit different to hold your attention, and I think it just about does. I really like the opening riff. It takes a bit longer to get into it, which I like. Like mm-hmm. said, that comes from the extra length. So it's a bit more time to like let it breathe. If it was cooking. Okay. Well, what, no, wine, not cooking, wine. <laughs> wine? Yeah, you let it, apparently you like take a, I don't drink wine, but you take, you let it, open it, leave Because it, you let meat it, rest. Meat rest, you let wine breathe and you leave it out inside and it breathes a little bit. Okay, I don't get that. I don't yeah. drink wine, so there you go. <laughs> Drowned in Torment. A bit more to type here. I would admit I would have trouble picking this one out mm. of a bolt thrower lineup, even though I still, still thoroughly enjoy the blast of drums and guitars. It's eye-watering stuff as the pacing is quite unreal. It's very nasty sounding. Mm. Really like the intro on this one. Mm-hmm. Straight in again, fast and heavy. So there's like no, no let up. Good, car, good guitar work to break it up and just feed like feeds the noise. I really like the groove of this one. Okay. So I like this one. So again, like up to this point, I don't think there's been a bad track. No. I just can't say I'm enjoying it as much as I did at the start. Yeah. Realm of Chaos. Some razor sharp riffs, some skull busting percussion and vocals that sound like gravel being flushed through a drain. It's a methodical blast of death metal that is on the darker side of things. So I do, I did enjoy it, and obviously this Roman case is like a direct link to the. Oh, that's not the right word. Title track. Yep. Um, I do. En- I did enjoy it, but I'm kind of death metal out. Yeah, I'm yeah, I get it by now. And like I said, that all links to like I do prefer this the kind of music in like a live environment. It just does more for me. So yeah, it kind of it was kind of a bit of hitting a wall really. This all it is. Yeah, it's like you're full up. It's yeah. like you're full up. You're yeah. just like ah, oh, I don't fancy that extra little yeah. slice of pizza. A prophet of hatred, which is a CD bonus track. If you don't know. Nothing wrong with this one either. Mm. Just a bit more bolt throw a bang for your buck. And if you've liked everything you've heard up for now, up to now, you'll enjoy this one too. Yeah. Simple as that. Solid, strong, solid, strong, solid track. Like to end the album yeah. on. So it, if it does, if we're gonna people say about that British getting the job British, done, kind British. of. Bit, yeah, yeah. It kind of made me feel a bit like that. Like it was just solid death metal. Okay. Um, but I, I didn't. Like I said I did enjoy it. Same, same. Yeah. And that's the outro as well. We get a nice book into the album, The Echoing Cave and Feeling of Emptiness End Things in Cold Fashion. Mm. Yes, overall, a very solid album. Keep on, you used that word there and it's going to be used here from me. Solid from beginning to end. Well, I'm like, there isn't a bad track on it, yeah. but there's also a lot of stuff that I probably won't, would, would forget almost yeah. immediately. Yeah, I'd, Because I'd... it's not that it's like crap or uninspired or mm. like that. It's just like it's a death metal album from beginning to end. And it, it's predominantly played at one pace, certain level of speed, yeah. certain level of heaviness, consistently. Yeah. Yeah. I think I put my top three tracks on our playlist. Okay. Because you get the bit of range, you go, oh yeah, when it comes in, you're like, oh sweet, I like that one. Well see, for me, the top three tracks were very interchangeable. Okay. I could have mixed and matched any. Mm. So I just ended up going, uh, when I came to deciding my throw, I was like, well, you enjoyed the first half more, so you're going to pull them from there. Yeah. And I've gone with Through the Eye of Terror. Dark Millennium and All That Remains. So those three in a row. I've gone for All That Remains, World Eater and Drowned in Torment. Oh, so you've gone the latter half? Yeah. After all you're complaining? 
No, oh, no, but, yeah, but, uh, but these ones have slightly different elements to them. So. No, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Yeah. I think it's still a good album. Uh, if you're bought for a have a very, very strong fan base who love everything they yeah. do, so the fact we, uh, maybe even used minor words of criticism yeah. is probably, you know, get the backup of some hardcore mm. bulk for our fans. But yeah, it's one of those bands never really gave much time to. Thoroughly enjoyed this album. Just, you know... A bit more of a regret we didn't get to see them live when they were around. Oh, well, there's plenty of a death metal bands, man. Plenty. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. And we did, we did really enjoy Memoriam. Of course, yeah, Memoriam were great. They're really cool. Realm of Chaos, Slave to Darkness. What do you reckon? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal. What else is life for?